Okay, number six. How much is 10 kilograms in pounds? So maybe take a moment to think about this question here. What is 10 kilograms in pounds here? And I'll give you a hint here. We're working here. Kg here is kilogram. Kg here is kilogram. And this is part of the metric system. Whereas, um, whereas pounds here, or LB here, is in the empirical system. So we need uh, we need a we need a relationship between these two systems here because we're working in different systems. So you can say here that, um, and I'll give you a hint here. Um, we have uh, kilograms to pounds here is going to equal this value. So so one kilogram here's a conversion factor equals two point two zero four or two point two zero five here. Or if I want to be really 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 approximate 2.20462 uh, pounds here or LB here. So it's asking us now what is 10 kilograms in pounds. So take a moment to think about this problem here. So if I have one kilogram equals uh, 2.20 pounds here, what I can do is I can say that 10 kilograms, or I can use this concept of dimensional analysis, right? I have 10 kilograms here. I'm going to multiply it by basically my conversion, right? I have here how many pounds, I want pounds to be um, at the top here and kilograms to be at the bottom. I have one kilogram, and in one kilogram, I have 2.20462, right? I have two point two zero four six two my kilograms are going to cancel out and i'm going to get pounds left right so it's going to be 10 times 2.202 which is basically just if i'm moving the i'm moving I'm simply moving the decimal place uh one to the right right because multiplying by 10 so this is simply just 22.0462 pounds or you can say it's approximately 22 uh 22 pounds here so this solution here is correct um, they wrote 22.046 pounds. That's perfectly fine. I use this concept of dimensional analysis. You don't have to, but uh, I prefer I, dimensional analysis just because it does uh, keep my units in check and that I, I, I know which can units cancel out, so I get the correct unit every time. So this solution here is correct. Uh, good analysis here.